What's up y'all, Sean here. So today we have the DJI Inspire 2 um, and I just recently purchased the X5S camera which is a micro four thirds camera for uh, the Inspire 2. Um, so this is gonna just be my first flight with it, nothing special um, and I'm gonna fly a little bit with the X4S just to give a comparison as to whether this was a good upgrade or not. So stay tuned, let's get up in the air. So the point of this video is really for me to see what my X5S looks like. So um, this, I thought I'd get the comparisons out of the way. The first comparison here is kind of a point of interest shot. Um, X4S is on the left, X5S is on the right with a 15 millimeter lens. Um, this is pointing down at the ground. Um, if you want to pause at any point during this and let me know which you think is sharper, which has more dynamic range, um, the white balance is a little bit different on both of them. I don't know if that is because of the time of the day shifted um, within a half hour or what. So let's get off the ground. Um, as you can see here, the depth of field on this camera is ridiculous. So I'm uh, focused on the grass in front of me, but everything behind me is out of focus. So I don't know if you guys remember the DJI Mavic Pro, you always had to focus your camera when you took off the ground. Um, a lot of the drones now don't do that anymore, but um, there is a green focus square uh, that is, um, is on your drone uh, screen and you basically click on whatever you want to be auto exposed and um, you know just to be in focus so um, I'm taking off a little bit um, I think there's bird nests around here somewhere because as soon as I went up in the air all of these swallows just started surrounding my drone and you'll see some right there um, just kind of flying around but from the ground they were basically surrounding my drone for you know a good 20 seconds when I took off when they realized my drone wasn't a threat they they backed off a little bit um, but right here um, I noticed on my screen that it was um, it looked oversaturated but it was really um, not exposed very well so I hover right here um, in the air and I adjust my exposure a little bit and um, I think that looks a lot better um, and then the next thing I do is I touch the middle of the screen again to kind of focus on what's in the middle of the screen because that's basically what I'm going to be pointing my gimbal at the entire time. Um, so it's a nice day. Um, this is about 7 o'clock in the morning. I flew from 7 to 8. Um, so I went through two sets of batteries. Um, this first one was me really just kind of getting familiar with the X5S. Um, there's a lot more that goes on with um, the X5S because it's a more professional camera. It has a proper lens, it has proper magnification, um, proper focus, um, it has an iris and a shutter and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's not all crammed into a tiny little box uh, like the X4S. Um, now all those things are in the camera but this one you know you can change the lenses on it um, and I'll uh, I've got it written down in the corner of the video but um, I'm using the DJI 15 millimeter lens um, a lot of people swap these out for Olympus lens is um, <laughs> to look a lot better but I want you guys to see um, I picked this subject because um, we've got normal grass we've got normal dirt then we have AstroTurf and AstroTurf dirt. <laughs> um, so there's that. We've got leaves on trees. Um, we've got concrete. We've got road. We've got tar. Um, there's a lot of different textures that I want you guys to look at in this video. Um, and this is really a test for me too. Like I want to get this on my big TV and look at it and see if um, this footage makes a difference or not. Um, I've been kind of disappointed by the X4S camera, um, which is basically the camera that comes on the DJI Phantom 4. Um, so it's a little dated, a little, um, you know, the pixels are kind of muddy. Um, it doesn't handle noise very well. 
Um, so uh, one good thing with the X5S, um, we're going to test this out in kind of a low light sunset situation. Um, and I expect the X5S to do, perform a lot better. Um, but um, I wanted to see how the gimbal movement worked here. Um, I also wanted to see how, um, you know, I just wanted to see what the textures were, whether it was sharp. Um, I've noticed a lot of uh, DJI drones are kind of over sharp and a lot of professionals soften that, that image up a little bit. Um, I basically just plug the camera in and we're looking at it. I think this is a really cool shot. I love the textures of the dirt mixed with the weeds and the grass and <laughs> there's a little rusty um, water meter down there and everything. So I think that's a pretty cool shot. Um, so right now, every time I hover, um, I'm playing around with settings. Um, so I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing at this point, um, but it looks like, oh, what I did right there was I changed the white balance from cloudy to sunny. Um, and then uh, what I did right there is I took a picture. So I wanted you guys to see what kind of picture you could take with the X5S, um, whether it was crispy and clear, nothing moving. Um, and I just, this is me zooming in post, like in Final Cut Pro, just to show you guys what the detail level of this image is. Um, so I think it's a little oversaturated uh, for my taste and probably exposed wrong. Um, but um, I like the shadows. I like the dynamic range. Um, I just think the concrete is a little overexposed so you don't get to see the details there. Um, then I decided to do a point of interest. Um, and I thought it was interesting that this point of interest um, did not really go around the point of interest that I chose. Um, when I chose this point of interest, um, I actually flew over the top of the red building in the middle. Um, and then basically what it does is it just starts flying in a circle and then you get to adjust your altitude, you get to change your speed and all that kind of stuff with the sticks. Um, so I was playing around with that. I didn't quite get the handle of it. Um, so this shot kind of looks very amateur, <laughs> but, um, but after a little bit, I did get the hang of it. Um, but I, it's going super slow. So, um, at this point I decided to speed it up a little bit, um, just so it can go around, um, and I can see some motion. I was glad that truck was driving around. Um, they're taking out the trash of all the different, um, you know, all the, all the trash cans all around the ballpark. Um, so it was kind of neat to actually see some motion. Um, you got a car on the road moving and stuff like that. Um, but I wanted, I want you guys to compare in this shot, compare the reds on the ballpark to the reds on the fire station over to the top left. Um, that is more reality. Whereas this ballpark is very freshly painted, bright colors, AstroTurf, not real grass, like um, a lot of this ballpark was manufactured. Whereas if you look at the, um, the fire trucks and the firehouse, um, the regular grass, that's kind of more natural greens that you would see. Um, so I wanted to see how the camera would, um, you know, deal with that difference. Um, I think it did really, really well. I think this is a really smooth shot. Um, I love the capabilities of the, the DJI Inspire 2. Um, it definitely doesn't have consumer uh, features in it. You definitely you, you need to know kind of what you're doing um, when you get behind the, the props of the Inspire 2. Um, so my challenge right now is to get decent shots out of the Inspire 2. Um, the same kind of shots that I can get with my other consumer drones that are a lot more user friendly. Um, so what I love about the Inspire 2 though, is it's a beefy, like no matter where I put it in the sky, it's, um, it'll go there. It'll stay there. It'll hover. Um, I do notice that it drifts a lot more than, um, let's say the Mavic 3 Pro. Um, even though it has GPS, like it, it's kind of like flying a tugboat. Um, I've compared my unique 
Typhoon H's and my Inspire 1 and this drone um, is no exception. It flies like a tugboat. Um, you know, if you're flying in a direction and you're flying really fast, it takes, you know, about 10 seconds to stop um, because you're, you've got all that velocity going through the air. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I wanted to, I want to show you guys this close up. Um, and again, at any point, pausing the video and seeing the quality, I think would be a good idea. Um, I'm definitely going to be pausing, uh, from time to time just to see what, what this looks like. Um, and then, um, I'm almost out of battery at this point. Um, I decided to do a spotlight. So when you see the gimbal shift towards the red building in the middle, that's when I turn on Spotlight Pro. Um, and basically it's drawing, it's kind of tracking the red building in the middle, but the camera is always gonna point at that red building no matter what I do with the drone. So here we go. I think this is the money shot right here. Um, it's a nice little reveal of what's going on. Um, and with this, I'm flying uh, backwards and up. Um, and it kind of gives just a beautiful, um, you know, reveal. Uh, but if you notice right here, the drone starts rising. So it is going up to 100 meters to return to home because the battery is low. So this, um, so I decided to point my gimbal down. I think those two trucks, one backing up and one going forward is pretty cool on the ballpark. Um, but I decide to bring it home at this point. Um, overall, pretty good flight. Return to home worked perfectly. Um, I should have taken off from a, um, a better stand, like a better, a safer place because I realized that I took off from <clears throat> the sidewalk right in front of my drone. So there was this tiny little sidewalk about Inspire size that um, Return to Home was going to land on. And if it was off, you know, by a foot here or there, it would either hit my Jeep or halfway land in the grass or, you know, be, have two feet on the sidewalk and two feet on the parking lot. So um, I realized about halfway through that I just really wanted to land in that grass. I didn't want to hit the gravel. I didn't want to hit the sidewalk. I wanted to land in the grass. Um, and But the thing that I didn't think about was that my gimbal on my brand new camera was pointing straight down. So um, it bounces off of the grass. And thankfully nothing happened to the gimbal. But, um, but I think it's pretty funny how this drone lands. Um, so you'll see it go black for a second. And that's when grass is completely covering the lens. <laughs> So here we go. We're, and you can see it bounce. Let's watch it bounce together and cringe. Boink. Um, so uh, this is all still coming from the camera. Um, I don't know if it broke the camera at this point or not. Um, so I grab the drone, pick it up, put it on the sidewalk. Um, so I know that the gimbal is not hitting anything. And then I raise it up. Um, so the camera's fine, everything's good. Hope you guys like this video. Please like, subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell for notifications when I put out more videos. Have a wonderful day, y'all. Peace out.